Hey, what's up guys, it's Seal here today and uh, I've got another tutorial for you guys. Um, this one being a Black Ops 3 crash startup fix. Um, very annoying issue. Um, no particular reason why I was doing it. It took me quite a while to find out the actual problem to this. So, um, in my particular case, um, I have Bitdefender antivirus installed. I know different people have different antiviruses. There's lots of tutorials for AVG and a few others online, but there doesn't seem to be anything in particular for Bitdefender. Um, so, what my uh, recommendation would be is to make sure you're on the latest version of Bitdefender if you have this program installed this may be the reason it's stopping you from opening the game uh, if you go down to protection on the left hand side of the screen then make your way over to advanced threat defense on the side here you click on open uh, then you want to go into the settings tab just at the top here and what we want to do is actually go to manage exceptions so again People's may look slightly different depending on their region or version. Uh, obviously, just make sure you go to this section here. Once you're on this bit, uh, what we basically need to do, I've already done it as you can see here. Um, this is the path of where my Black Ops 3 is installed. So if you go to add an exception, and you want to click on this sort of magnifying glass with the folder here to browse for the item we're looking for. Uh, in my particular case, um, I've got it installed on the F drive, but in your case, you may have it installed on your C drive with Windows or any other drives that you've got. So you want to go into where it's installed, go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then you want to locate your Black Ops 3 folder and expand that. And then what you should get here is the Black Ops 3.exe. If you want to click on that, and then just click OK. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I've already done that, of course. Uh, and make sure that this tab here at the bottom is ticked. So Advanced Threat Defense. Make sure that that's set to the right so you should see it blue. And that should basically enable you to um, have it ignored. And you want to click Save. And uh, at that point, you're pretty much finished. So uh, if you want to then try and start up your Black Ops 3 game, I'll just show you that this is working by opening mine. There we go. So, as you can see, the game's starting up. However, beforehand it was just coming to a black screen. I wouldn't even see this intro screen and the whole thing would just crash. So, uh, I know for a fact that that's definitely working now. There we go. Okay, so some other potential fixes that we can try. Um, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card installed, <clears throat> open up your GeForce Experience. Go on to Drivers. Um, again, I know this fix is all over the internet, so I'm probably this is probably the first, not the first time you've seen this. So just make sure you've installed the latest driver. In my case, it was the 26th of uh, January, so I'm already on the latest one. Um, so that's obviously a fix that you can try there as well. Another thing you can try is if you go to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 in your library, uh, right-click it, go to Properties, then come down to Local Files on the side and then click verify integrity of game files this will basically do a check on all of your game files for that game and make sure that they're all installed the way they should be again i'm sure that you've heard this fix before the main point of this video was about the bit defender uh, again that was blocking it to begin with so uh, providing that you've done those steps correctly you should be able to run the game if you do have bitdefender antivirus installed there will be similar uh, routes and methods for other antivirus softwares um, again obviously i'm not too familiar with other ones as i don't have them installed um, but there will probably be other content online showing you how to do so uh, but if you, this video helps um, obviously leave a leave a like leave a comment if you need any support with it and uh, i'll try and get back to you guys as soon as possible 